What's good, what's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jack. So there's a lot of bullish pressure right now for Matic. We're holding up the price. Uh, currently we're sitting at 243. We're up almost 4% on the day while the rest of the market is down. That's how you know there's a lot of bullish momentum. If you see a coin is holding strong during a correction while well, Bitcoin is correcting, that means there's a lot of, of bullish interest right now. So we're sitting at 243 up about 4%. We're seeing a market cap of 16.87 billion. 24 hour volume, 5.08 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. The world's fastest growing crypto app. Someone mentioned in my comment that said, I always say the world's fastest crypto growing app, but <laughs> that's okay. And you can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for a cashback in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, travel incentives, depending on the level of card that you have, $25 to five, just for signing up through my referral in their native coin, Crow. So let's start on the four hour time frame. So you can see here, guys, we only had a small little bit of sell off and we bounced right back up. This was our take profit zone. I'm now going to turn this into a bounce zone uh, because we could definitely bounce from this level. Now you're like, Jax, what's going to happen if we bounce here? I can't dollar cost average into my trade. Well, what you would do is trade a pattern breakout. Of course, use your own discretion, guys. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a young guy from Canada. But as you can see here, we have a bit of a bull pennant going on. So if we do a little something like this, we come down, we find support, we break out. Well, this is a pretty massive breakout target. So what you do is you measure your flagpole. This is called your flagpole. And you take your flagpole up to where you would break out. So probably right around here if we did break out. And it would bring you very close to our next take profit zone at 316. It would bring you all the way up to about 305. So do keep an eye on that. If we break out, you see some nice volume. We back test it as support. We could see continuation from this level because as we can see here with ETH, Ethereum, oh, wrong chart, guys. My apologies. Ethereum broke out of this double bottom, came back, is back testing the neckline of support. We also have a bull flag here going on with ETH. So if it bounces here and it breaks out, of course, it's gonna take Matic with it because they move very closely, right? And this breakout target will bring you all the way up above this level of resistance up to about 4701 for ETH. So do keep a close eye on that, guys. I do think Bitcoin here wants to make that double bottom. As you can see here, we came up, created a high hit resistance, double bottom breakout. Either that, that's the bullish scenario, guys, or we could have a little bit of a bear flag. So if you see us continue to break down, we lose 47594. Now we are on the floor in the daily RSI. That doesn't mean we, can, we can't go a little bit lower, but when you're in the floor like that, you're gonna see a large bounce sooner than later. But if we were to break down from this bull flag, your target brings you all the way down to about 40K, which is our swing low. If we were to lose that level of support, that's pretty bearish, guys. Uh, but I would keep an eye on that double bottom. We are very low on the RSI, so I would expect to see a nice little bounce relatively soon for Bitcoin pulling the market with it. But this video is about Matic, so let's get back into Matic. So do watch for that pattern, guys. If it does break out, we have take profit levels here at 260, 316, and we have one all the way up at $4.11. If you're new to the dollar cost average strategy, I recommend signing up to the Discord. It's a press of a coffee. The strategy is fully explained. Let me quickly open that up. Hope you're well, guys. Hope the pets are healthy. Hope that you're working towards all your goals and dreams. If you hustle and you work hard and you work smart, don't kill yourself, don't burn yourself out. I've done that before, it's no fun. Um, then you can achieve what you want out of life or you can achieve you know, a pretty close version of what you want, in my opinion. Uh, sometimes, you know, life throws you a curveball, but it's not the hand that you're dealt. It's how you play your cards. All right. It's very corny. So under DCA trading, we have our DCA trade strategy uh, where I explain everything. It's all written down. And then I have my DCA charts, which I post daily. Uh, you can check them regularly for VET, Soul, Phantom, and Matic. Those are the coins that I'm um, going to cover right now. So let's hop back into Matic. So that's your breakout target, guys. So I want to pop over here into this chart so there's some confluence that this is a pretty strong level of support here we broke out of this double bottom let me actually drop the neckline in here 
we broke out of this double bottom. We haven't come all the way back to test it as support. That's a possibility. But we've broken out of this major rising wedge pattern. I'm actually going to pop this over to the daily and open it up so everything's more visible for you guys. So we've broken out of this major rising wedge. So if we hold the previous level of resistance of this pattern as support, that's really bullish. That shows a lot of strength for Matic if we don't fall back into the pattern. But if you do see us start to lose this trend line, that's when you can see us come back down to the EMAs. And that's when you see us come back down to our bounce zone here at 214. And then we have our dollar cost average buy zones 193, 175. Honestly, I think you could turn 214 into a dollar cost average buy zone here. Because if we do start to come down to that level, you are going to start trending towards oversold on the RSI. But as of right now, I'll leave it as a bounce zone. I do have a limit buy here at 214. But if we were to trend a little bit lower, I'd probably use a stop loss and try to get in at 193 but i definitely think you could start dollar cost averaging 214 193 175 brings your average price down halfway each time you get ready to ride the slingshot back up if we look at the short positions for matic we are seeing the shorts starting to take some profits here as you can see with this red candle basically this is telling you that some of the whales and retail investors that were shorting matic are taking their profits as you can see here when it's coming down like this they're taking their profits right and then that gives the bulls the opportunity to start buying and push the price up so we're going to hop over to ethereum guys so here's eth on the four hour time frame as i've been mentioning we broke out of that double bottom we now have a bull flag pattern so if we hold four two one two and you see us start to break this bull flag that's going to take Matic with it, and we're going to see continuation. But if we lose this level of support, I would target 3938. We might not come all the way down to that level, especially if Bitcoin sees that double bottom take place and starts to break out. Um, the bulls are really strong right now for Matic and for Ethereum, and they're holding these levels, which is a strong sign of continuation. We're still holding this trend line for ETH. And we're holding the 55 EMA. We're still underneath 4416. So I do think a breakout is coming relatively soon over the next 24 to 48 hours. If we, if we start to lose this trend line, we lose the 55. That's when I target 3580. But if we see that bounce to the upside, especially if we break these high guys, we're going to see continuation. So that's basically it for Matic. I'll give you our bull run targets. Quickly pop open my chart here. So based off our Elliott Wave Theory and FIB levels, we have the 1.618, which is my bull run target here at 677, the dream price 1181, and the 1.272 extension. Hold up, guys. My apologies. Sometimes these FIB levels get knocked off when I'm checking it on my phone. And um, the 2.272 at 1767. We have our bounce zones here at 233, 214, dollar cost average, 193, 175, 152, 132, 107, and then all the way down at 63 cents here. And our take profit zones, let me pull this over a little bit. 260, 360, and 411, and they're based off levels of resistance as well as Fibonacci levels. As you can see, 411 is very close to the 1.272 extension. Quick shout out to the Discord. Not only do you have access to these charts at all times, you also have access to over 1,000 members talking all things crypto, posting chart patterns. Incredible community, guys. It's the price of a coffee. It's 350 USD. I'm going to knock it up to $5 pretty soon. Um, so get in while you can obviously five dollars is still really cheap uh, But I grew up poor I grew up on welfare So I want to make it accessible for all walks of life just in case you're just getting into the crypto game You don't have a lot of money because I was there, you know, and I was I was there at many times in life So I think it's important to make it affordable for everyone. Okay, so uh, see you in the next video. Much love. Take care